sports. It seems like everything that can go wrong is going wrong for John Calipari and UK basketball these days. First, Nerlens Noel was lost for the season with a torn ACL. Many fans had hoped that the UK players would rally around Noel's injury and make a spirited run towards an NCAA tournament bid. Instead, the exact opposite happened. Tennessee guard Trey Golden scored 24 points and had eight assists without a turnover as the Vols put a 30-point whooping on the Cats, 88-58. It was the largest margin of victory by UT in the 216-year history of the series. The Cats had literally nothing from the outset and trailed 33-12 midway through the first half. The frustration spilled over to the sidelines and assistant coach John Robick was tossed in the first half for arguing. Cal Perry tried changing his lineup in Noel's absence, starting Kyle Wilcher and Jerry Polson for Alex Poitras and Ryan Harrow, but nothing seemed to work. They deserve to beat us by 50 today. Um, they played harder, they played rougher, they executed better, they were stronger with the ball. Um, they, they, we just had passive guys that did not want to make plays tentative, and that means you're going to have a 50-point bulge. Um, Willie trying to figure out his way. Um, you know, we gave up four offensive rebounds in the first two minutes, three minutes. I mean, it's you're not going to win. And so uh, we got to go back to the drawing board. I'm going to have to figure out exactly how we're going to have to play. Uh, offensively and what we're going to have to do defensively and uh, we'll go from here. This one is, uh, I'll burn the tape. I'm not watching this one. John, did you I had to sit through it, so I'm not going to sit through it again. It was very disappointing on our part. Uh, we didn't come out of the gate. Then the uh, fire and aggressiveness and they jumped on us early. And uh, I mean, it's a huge loss with New Orleans, but that's no excuse. I mean, we have plenty of capable guys. we got to bring it. we got to bring higher intensity, play harder. After the game, Cal hinted that he had a couple of players who might be uncoachable, but backtrack the following day. UK will try to get back on the right track against Vanderbilt at home on Wednesday. Tony, I didn't see this one coming. I mean, I knew, you know, I mean, this was a bad Tennessee team. They were just toying with those guys out there. You know, all of all the, the other Calipari teams, they've always started here and they end here. They've gotten better, right? Every Calipari UK team has gotten better. This team is the exact op opposite on the graph. I mean, these guys. This team has the gotten year, worse. They were playing with Duke. They play. They gave Duke all they wanted. Right. They, they gave Louisville, Louisville all they, they wanted. wanted. Yes. They've, they've just, gotten worse. I don't know. And it's not just Noel. These kids have no heart. And and he just keeps saying it. That's not me. Don't get mad at me. Get mad. Cal saying it. These kids have no heart or pride. They are getting smashed. I don't even know where you begin with this thing. The, the season started, like we just said, Her Mary Jo Perino said on the show last week, Harold looked like John Wall. Yeah. On the, yeah. You know, and, and uh, I mean. And What's going on? I mean, what there's got to be, you know, you talk about Louisville, chemistry, locker room. There's got to be, Cal saying guys are uncoachable. To me, there's some problems with chemistry. The locker room's got to be a mess. Oh, It man. sounds like he's just, I mean, he sounds exasperated right Ma now. When you got Polson and Mays back there, come on. What, what's going on? What, what what good. When I, I haven't been able to get a read on these guys. Do you think they just don't care? Are they just there just to buy time when they go to the league? And or that's what? a good question. Uh, where does it go from here? Because you've had, you had, you expect it need, it would be the miracle of all miracles miracle turnarounds if they turn it around because that's not happening I, they they had their opportunity to go down against a terrible Tennessee team and the terrible Tennessee team straight up punched them in the face and they and they folded they all they said it they said in pregame warm-ups you could tell Kentucky was scared they said that they were they were they were in the moment and they didn't they did not embrace it and it's not all about Nerlens look I mean they were they were no. an average team with Nerlens yes what happened Sarah they've still got guys with talent now I don't know if the, how much heart they got I don't know how much looks like they've got guys who aren't tough enough who don't know how to play the game and, and that's just a bad combination well uh, we is this rock bottom this this is the question you need is this rock bottom the other thing was they're not making the tournament. No, no, no. First of all, this is so you have to hit rock bottom okay. before you begin the road to <laughs> all right. recovery. All right. There's no this was rock bottom. It doesn't get any more rock bottomer. It doesn't get rock bottomer. If that's a, <laughs> does not get rock bottomer than this. Okay? Listen, it's a sports show. That's a word. Rock no. bottomer. But yeah. let me tell you what. They're making the tournament. I tell listen oh, to me. Listen oh, to me. Listen to me. Chip listen to me. Listen to me. And I'm, I'm just calling it like I see okay. it. All they got to do, if they beat Missouri, 
Which they can't. Missouri, Missouri is horrible on the road. What team? If they beat Missouri, if Kentucky beats Missouri. What Kentucky team are you talking about? Not the guys that showed up. I mean, How long ago do you want to go back before you get that Kentucky team? How far back do you want? You want to get in the DeLorean. Let's get in the DeLorean. Let's go back in time. And let's go back to about a month and a half ago. I'm not saying, hey, look, I'm not saying they're a good team. I'm not even saying they necessarily would deserve it. But I'm saying if they beat Missouri, and they win one game in the NC in the SEC tournament. They're Kentucky. Chip. We were talking about it. Chip. How many people get hurt? I mean, them not being in the tournament is How not good for people. Yes, but, so, it's Kentucky. They'll get the they'll get the benefit yes, of that doubt. For but the they're like the Yankees. People love to hate them. I'm with you on that. That they're going to want to put them in there because all their fans are crazy and they're going to travel and do all that thing. But the the people that put this thing together are going to relish in the in the opportunity to sit them home. Let me tell you what. A year I, after the national title, I get you and relishing the opportunity. And I know a lot of people are laughing and all that. But when push comes to shove, the guys at the NCAA, they want to put together the kind of tournament not, that's going to produce the most dividends, chip, baby. Yes, if you, It's all about the money dividends. Money talks and suckers walk. the NCAA, the NCAA, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. They're going to lose more games. There's no way. All, no. They gotta do, all they've got to do is beat Missouri. If they beat Missouri and win a game in the conference tournament, they will be in as a 12 they seed. They did a mock a mock tournament that they're going to do in four weeks. They did it this past weekend before the Tennessee game, and Kentucky didn't make it in. They but didn't make it in. As of and now, then you have this loss, which is a 30-point loss at, at on the, at, to Tennessee. I, exactly. I, now, again, I'm not saying they're an NCAA tournament worthy necessarily. I don't think they're a good – I don't think they're probably one of the best 68 teams, but – if they get one quality win over Missouri and beat one team in the SEC tournament, they will squeeze in. Okay. You mark my words. If they do, they're not going to. And if they do, it will be the greatest turnaround in basketball history because this team is terrible. But making the tournament, I mean, the tournament, I mean, college basketball, while it's still exciting, the quality is down. Getting to oh, the tournament is not a big accomplishment. That's the only thing in their favor is that the other teams suck so too. so bad. The Bucs. Yes. The bubble is so bad that I, I'm not counting them out. I think they still got to make it. 